Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. It is a game called Clive and Wrench. It has been created by Dinosaur Bites as you can see here in this lovely little intro he's made. And this is going to be a fun and exciting new Let's Play. Here we go, folks. Clive and Wrench. Not Clive and Wrench, Clive and mm. Wrench. Clive and Wrench. 
All right, here we go. Oh, wow, what an amazing start screen. I have not seen this before. So I'm just gonna quickly go in and change the music volume to, actually, is there like a general volume? I'm just gonna wonder here. I'll put it there. So graphics as well, what do we got? Resolution, ultra, yes. Game, speed run timer, cool. Interesting. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and, wait, continue. We can't continue, wait. Well, I just did, I just pressed continue. Well, here we are, folks. This is Clive and Wrench. This is Dinosaur Bites' masterpiece. And we are ready to go. So, welcome to this brand new Let's Play. Yeah, if you need to brush up in the advanced booth, check out the orientation room I've set up. Otherwise, onwards and upwards to the next era. All right, well, let's, uh, where the orientation room? Where may that be? So, just wanna quickly point out a few things. This is completely blind. At this point, I'm not certain if I'm going to 100% it. Maybe not, because I might want to sort of play it more casually first as well. Let's go to the orientation though. All right, so we got this, okay, cool. So this is cool, this is kind of, you know, teaching you how to do the different moves. So you've got LB, that's the left button, and then jump, and then jump, and double jump, yeah, cool. Look, it's actually got the meter in here, see, I like that. It's like, it's like, a, it's like a real take on the, um, you know, like the, the testing rooms in video games, um, but, yeah, so Clive and Wrench has a, you know, a, a, that's, what's the word for it? A, it, it's very close to my heart for many reasons. And some of you know this, some of you don't, um, but you know, I have known, I have known Rob now for really over a decade. Um, so, uh, uh, and X, okay, yeah. Uh, really over a decade, but we've probably been friends for shorter, I need to, Hold, I need to remember to hold that down, there you go. Um, we probably haven't been friends the entire time, but we basically, I was I was a commenter on his videos, on his very, very early concepts of his Muppet Monster Adventure and Clive and Wrench and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And we just got talking, and then over time, you know, he joined my server, we commented on each other's stuff, and you know, follow each other on social media and everything like that. Um, so, yeah, there we go, beautiful. Um, yeah, so that's how it was. And so this whole time I've seen this game blossom from this fun little project he was working on to something that is just, honestly, I just, it, what this means for, for, for 3D platformers and, and fan, not, I say fan made, it's not fan made, it's not a fan game. It is a, just a full game. Um, it's a game created by him. Yeah, of course, it is inspired by many of the platformer games of the past, but that's what makes it, I think, so good. So I'm gonna go that, jump, jump, and then that. There you go. Perfect. That makes us over. I just think that's what it's all about. You know, why not every single platformer needs to be the most innovative, crazy thing you've ever seen. You know, I think it, I think it's actually perfect to have something be, you know, merge concepts from all other kinds of, of video games. Um, you know, merge concepts and then do do your own thing. And I think that this is, you know. I think it's very creative in its own right. I think that Clive and Wrench as a as a movement, it's it's very it's banjo meets Mario. It's not really crash like. I mean the spin. I think the this jump, the, the flip jump, the, the side flip jump. So it goes like, it goes like left, right, then jump. So like like that is able to get you some some different things. I think you can I think you can go. Let's see. I think it's like yeah. There's a bunch of cool movement and it's really, really fun. All right, now anyway, Bunny, I Shrunk the Chimp. Is, no, that's that's not the first level, but we're gonna just go through here anyway. The hub world has evolved a lot since I first saw it. Um, this is, oh, okay, cool, yeah, okay. So so what this is, right, is the story, like we, we, we saw the opening cuts, there was no dialogue intentionally. Um, that's kind of, it's prob you know, that's probably a, a nod to games like Banjo-Kazooie, you know, I'd assume, is that this guy, this this bastard, really, he's he's taken uh, the, the flux capacitor, or flux regenerator, or whatever it was called, and um, yeah, that's sort of what's going on here. Look at this, really, an insect's journey. I love it. Um, so yeah, basically, 
yeah, he's taken this he's taken this thing which can do time travel and he's gonna use it for, you know, for well, you know, destruction, basically. Now what is zero out of one hundred and ten? Let's see. Actually don't know. So that's that's a ten. There's different values of, of one different yeah. I'm just gonna I will come back here properly later. I reckon actually no, you know what, I'm, I'll get everything I can, and then I think the next part will go to the actual first level. Now, I'm sure there's going to be, like, backtracking and stuff like that. Um, it's, you know, it's going to be one of those games. It's going to be, a, you know, a collect-a-thon platformer. Look, it's Judas Cradle. Judas Priest. Was it the Hop Blank? Now, the other thing is, and I've always, you know, I've talked about this in the videos, I've covered it before, but, um, you know, I, I make an appearance in this game, which is, of course, a, a honor. My, really, my biggest honor of my whole life, really, if you think about it. Like, I mean, like, mum, dad, I made it into a video game. Um, it's actually in stores. And that's that's the other cool thing, like, from a, you know, a pride perspective of, of, of how proud I am of Dinosaur Bites. You know, it's like, uh, in Australia, we have a, a, a store, JB Hi-Fi. And it's, uh, you know, where, where a lot of the time you will, you know, buy your games, electronics and stuff like that. And um, I know someone that works there, everything of like that. Anyway, so it went on the website and the game was there, available on the Switch. So that just, it just blew my mind. I was like, this is actually a real physical thing. Not that it would be anything less if it was a, only a digital download. Like, it's not like it's anything less, you know, getting it on Steam. But just seeing it have a physical copy, uh, I'm sure that, you know, that Rob felt the same. All right, so that's, uh, that's Buffy reference there. Okay, so many references and there's so many references just everywhere. Right, let's run and yes, okay. So if I run, if I, if I press uh, L, was it L1 and then circle, yeah, you can actually attack by that. That's, that's smart. You, you get chaining up the, the moves is uh, very, very important, but I'm not that good at it yet. What does that say? What does it say? The mana... The mainframe reboot. Matrix reloaded. Right. Okay, so where are we here? Sorry, let's have a look here. What's going on here? Let's have a look. Oh! This is the first level. Okay. Alright, well. Do I want to start here? You know what? We're going to start here. Perfect. That sounds great. Alright. Awesome. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for watching this brief introductory part i'll be back very very soon with part two like as in literally like probably the same day in fact because i want to want to get it all going and yeah it's very very exciting and yeah so in the next part coming very very soon we're going to uh have some fun in honey i shrunk the chimp